Hey y'all, good morning. Um, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. I am excited today. I am thrilled. I am uh, over the moon, over whatever. I'm just happy, guys. I'm I just ooh, I'm just happy. I'm just filled and bubbling over with a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and it's the, what I'm feeling is really, it's just coming from the Lord, you know, um, it comes from just this relationship that he and I have, and it's just wonderful, um, I pray you guys are having that experience that you have some form of joy or happiness today, just from being alive, just from being in his presence, just from sharing about him that, you know, that it, brightens you up and that it brightens others up and i also pray that for those who don't have that joy or happiness you guys who have that that you're able to share some of that with others to help them to you know come up into a place of uh joy and happiness as well so today's message is so kind of crazy huh <laughs> it's wild but it's funny the title of it um it's so funny to me but the title of this message is The Devil Throws Tantrums. <laughs> so I don't know what in the world. It's like the Lord was just going on about my business and the Lord just said, the devil throws tantrums. And I'm like, oh, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> so we know that in the course of our walk with God, when we, a lot of us, when we first started, I mean, well, I can only, let me speak for myself. When I first started in this thing with the Lord, I didn't really know him. I was going to church and everything. I was still hitting up the club. I was still, you know, partying, doing my thing, living my regular life. And I thought that the relationship that I had with him was I actually knew him. And I didn't. Um, I had a, I had a, Gosh, did I? I don't even know if it was what you would call a prayer life necessarily. I prayed, but it wasn't like uh, where I am today. Put it that way. It wasn't on that level of where I am today, right? So um, I was still kind of sleep, you know, going to church on a Sunday, um, going to church on a Bible study night. And I had not still awakened. Now, in the course of time, because all throughout my life, I've, I've had a, this spiritual gift. Um, and um, it really started to come out probably, I don't know, goodness gracious, probably around the time when I was uh, pregnant with my first daughter, I really started to see a little bit of different things happening that I didn't, I didn't quite understand. Okay. I didn't really understand it. So anywho, I, as I grew and grew and grew in getting closer to the Lord, I started to develop this relationship with God and it became stronger and stronger and stronger through the years. And it took a lot of time and really it got even stronger when the Lord pulled everybody from around me. It got even more. The relationship took it took off to a whole nother level. And usually people think that a relationship with the Lord is saying, you know, of him. And that's not even what a relationship with him is. A relationship is not just knowing or hearing about God and saying, oh, I've heard about God. Uh, it's not just I, I pray over my meal. It's not just, I pray every blue moon. It's not just, I pray when I feel like it or when I'm in trouble. This is not having a relationship with the Lord. The Lord wants a relationship with us Monday through Sunday uh, to the point where this is what we do. We, we're breathing him. We're breathing him. And this is what we do, okay? So in the course of us, developing and growing and becoming stronger in this relationship and this bond that we have with God, you know, our gifts get a lot stronger. We become stronger uh, in, every, in everything we go through, every battle we face, we become stronger. Um, 
And it just, we, we, we take on something new, you know, cause God has done something new in us. So we take on a new, a new, uh, what's the word, Lord God, we take on a new spirit. We take on a new identity. That's what it is. We take on this new identity in him and we just become stronger and stronger. Right? So oftentimes as we're developed and we're changing, we don't know what really, how God, sometimes some of the things God do, we don't even realize that he's going to do half of what he's doing through us. We don't realize how much he's going to use us. We don't even realize some of, a lot of stuff we didn't ask for. And a lot of stuff is like, oh my God, like this is a lot of God. I can't believe you got me here. And that's what it is though. It's a different type of uh, relationship is not what you once had. And we have to realize that the enemy also takes notice of this new thing, this new development, this new going on in you, the fact that your spirit has shifted, the fact that your mindset has changed, the fact that you are a lot different. And he is, frankly, he's angry. He's extremely angry at the fact that he has lost somebody. He has lost you you know, and now you're on God's side. And he's like, oh my God, he's throwing a tantrum. He's literally throwing a tantrum. He cannot take the fact that you are, you have decided to shift sides and go on his side. So he'll use all kinds of things. You'll have these people out here. Uh, you're, you're doing too much. You're too holy. You're too this, you're too that. And I mean, the list goes on, you know, um, I don't know. It just seemed like <laughs> the better way that it's coming to me is it really just seems like when you were in the world, you weren't doing too much. So the, they didn't really pay you any attention. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's like you weren't, they didn't really notice you. They weren't paying you any attention when you were in the world. It's when you started to awaken to who God called you to be. You awaken to your gifts. You awaken to the things that he has placed on the inside of you that the devil started taking notice. These demons out here got routed up. Okay, they got cranked up. They fired up like, oh my goodness, this person is awake. They're on fire for God. This person is about to be a whole entire problem. And you really are. You really are a whole entire problem for the kingdom of darkness. So this is why this devil is throwing this tantrum that he's throwing. He is angry. He is mad. He just doesn't know what to do. He's losing it because here you are. You're on fire. You're not just doing your Sunday time with God. You're not doing your bible study night with god you're like on this thing with god and it's hard you're going hard for god every single day you're going hard for god in every way that you can possibly go hard for him and the devil can't he can't stand it and the, and then these people who don't live in the spirit the way that you do uh now they want to take jabs and stabs at your faith and at who you are and the way that you uh, come across. And frankly, these people, you really should not uh, pay too much attention to them. In fact, you shouldn't pay attention to them at all. You know, these are those people who think that because you're a uh, hardcore Jesus, that somehow they got to speak on what it is that you're doing. Well, it's none of your business what I'm doing. You know, and then if you don't like what it is that I'm doing or what my friend is doing for the Lord, well, then you can gladly, you know, cut off the video. You can gladly stop following whatever platform this person is using or I'm using. You can, it's, it's, it's a good thing, right? Because everybody has the right to go and follow and listen to and be a part of whatever they want to be a part of. We all have free will. But I'm not going to stop talking about God. I'm not going to stop praising God. I'm not going to shut up about God. It's never going to happen. It's just not going to happen. 
So that is why the devil is around throwing a tantrum, y'all. He throwing a tantrum because y'all done woke up. He throwing a tantrum because y'all on this, y'all on this Jesus thing 24-7. He hates it. He's like, oh no, you know, he's cranked up his mess in the world. And their feet in the world is feeding off of the stuff that he's cranked up right now. Look around. Look at the stuff our kids have to be subject to every single day. The things in the TV, the things on social media, the things that are going on everywhere. Our kids have to see it in some form or fashion in school. They have to be looking at it, seeing it, hearing about it and all. And this is cranked up and we are in this stuff 24 hours a day. We're in it because we, you know, it's all around us. So the people who are of God, we've got to, we got to bring ourselves up. We got to talk more about God. We got to be more about God. We got to put ourselves out there like the Jehovah Witnesses. I'm serious. We got to put ourselves out here like all these other people that knock on doors and, and evangelize and stuff. We got to put ourselves out there even the more because, you know, the devil is out there. So we got to put ourselves out there even the more. So the devil is throwing a tantrum. He's throwing a tantrum because, you know, you are alive in Christ. You are alive. You are awake. And he is furious that you are awake. And that's okay. We are awake. We don't care about the fact they don't like that we are uh, preaching the, the Bible or we're talking about Jesus or that we're worshiping. Who cares? That's Everybody has a right to not like something. It's their business. It's their prerogative, right? But we're not going to stop worshiping God because it bothers you. It bothers your demons. We're not going to stop worshiping God because it affects you uh, your mind or something or whatever the case might be. If it makes you uncomfortable, it's not even you. It's a demon that's uncomfortable with who we are, with the light that's on the inside of us. And so you guys have to remember, you just, you don't stop being who you are because other people are uncomfortable. Are they going to stop being who they are? Probably not. Unless God wakes them up and, just, and and they decide to listen to him and they decide to change. Probably not. So why should you um, fix your life, base your life upon what others like or what they don't like? I don't care if my uh, platform has a few followers or a lot of followers. I'm here to do what God called me to do. I'm here to do it. I don't care how it's, you know, it's going to start off, how it's going to start off. And, you know, I'm going to keep going, but that's the choice I made. I've made this choice to keep, continue to go with God. So it may start off slow and I'm okay with that. See, I'm in this for the long haul. This relationship with me and God is not a one night stand. All right. It's not a one night stand. This thing is uh, a romantic thing that I have with the Lord 24 hours a day. This is a romance. This is a love. I'm on fire for him. I adore him. He is my everything. And I live in the spirit with him every single day. And although I'm in my natural body walking around every single day, interacting with people and everything like that. I'm with God even when I'm interacting with, with different people and they know it. They can feel it. I get a lot of compliments because of it. People can sense it. People who I don't know from Adam or Eve, elderly couples that I don't, I don't even, I've never met them. They can look at me and they will speak and say, I know you are with God. I can tell. And I'm like, mm -hmm. just off of a smile, just off of how I greet them when I'm in their presence. So you have to know that you have to show off God's light. You have to show off God's light in this world. You can't be dimming yourself because people are jealous and envious and they're around here throwing little side jokes, little side cracks. And, you know, they're hiding their evil and their jokes and they're hiding their Nobody cares. Give me a break. Nobody cares about that stuff. We out here for Jesus. We out here to see some souls saved. We out here to change this world. We out here to make our mark. We're out here to do what God told us to do. 
That's what we're out here. We're about our father's business. We're not about all this messy, messy, messy mess that's out here. And if we were about it, we would probably get a whole lot of praise. If we were about being naked, we would get a whole lot of praise. If we were about prostitution, some people would get a whole lot of praise. If we had our only fans page, we probably would get a whole lot of praise. Yeah, because that's worldly stuff. That's worldly stuff. So when you step out to do uh, extra and, and you're putting in more and you're doing more, you're going to seem like you're being more. And I want to be extra for God. I want to be more for God. Nobody's going to shut down me. Nobody's going to shut down and put out my fire. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. So that's the attitude you guys need to have. Ain't no devil going to shut down your flame, your fire. You're not going to shut down nothing over here. You can shut down your stuff. You can minimize your stuff. You can reel in people how you want to reel them in. But that's not what I'm here to do. I don't care if uh, God brings one person across me, 10 people across me, 20 people across me, however he does it. However he does it, I'm going to continue in this thing with the Lord. I don't care who I lose to continue in this thing with the Lord. I done lost a great, uh, uh, so much in this life for real, for real, those things don't matter to me. So that's the one thing the devil can't use on me. That's one thing he can't get me with. He can't get me. You know, when you go to talking crazy and all that stuff, I'm like, well, uh, uh, no, no. Cause I done lost so much that losing anything else. I mean, it's what, it's what, okay. I've been in a fire with this thing with God for a long time and don't build what you have uh, based upon what others are, are, what others have with God, your relationship with God is just that. It's your relationship with God. You got to do what God called you to do. You got to do what He called and let, and what He led you to do. Okay, you got to do that. You can't be intimidated by these people. You got these bullies out here that want to bully you into silence and to get you to shut up and to make you think that God is not listening to you. The devil is a lie. The devil is a fat lie. And so is his mama. All right. We don't shut down. We don't back down from no devil. I don't care how big and or how big he may appear. We don't back down for no devil. Okay. So he might be mad. He might be the enemy may be in his feelings or whatever, but he can get over it. He can get over it because that's not going to stop us. That's not going to stop us from moving the way that the Lord tells us to move. And they gonna, when they get ready, they're going to toss out some more stuff to you guys, okay? You're going to be a little bit too much. You're going to be a little too spooky. You're going to be a little bit too this and that and the other. And you know what? I could care less. Because at the end of the day, these people do not pay your bills. Uh, they're not endorsing you. They're not doing anything for you. They're not doing anything for you. All they're doing is watching and taking from you, taking from you and criticizing and uh, not pouring back into you. And if they're pouring back into you, it's from some form of a negative place. And that's why you got to stay with your eyes focused on God. We can't be giving the enemy no intention, no room, no room. Because the moment we give him room, we're going to lose track of what God told us to do. Okay, what he told us to do. So let the enemy rage. Let him go on and do what, whatever he wants to do. Okay, we're going to stay in this thing with God 100 strong. We're going to be fired up every day. We're going to be in our word. We're going to be fasting. We're going to be worshiping. We're going to be doing it. We're going to get stronger every single day. Every single day, we ought to be getting so stronger in our faith and in our walk with God that the, that the enemy feels very threatened. He needs to feel the threats that the Lord's people are rising up. They know who they are. They're not afraid of the devil. He needs to feel threatened by our presence. And we need to be out here winning people for him every single day. And it does not need to be a day that goes by that we're not moving how God told us to move. We're not talking about how somebody else is telling us to move or how somebody else is telling us that we ought to be doing this or doing that and this and that and third. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. Okay. When God created you, 
he did not go and find out from this person and this person, was it okay for him to bring you into this earth? He did not go to these people to find out, do they approve of you? He did not go and say, can I give this person this anointing, this power, this gift, this and that? He didn't go to, he didn't go to any of these, he didn't consult any of these people when he made you. Okay, so stop consulting these people about something you need to go to God about. You need to go to God about, okay? Because if he's been training you this long and these people haven't come along the side to, uh, to help you in this, then it's obviously for a reason. It's obviously for a reason. You're set apart. You're different. You have to um, do things the way that God tells you to do them. And it may not be the way that everyone else does it, especially not in this time we're living in. Okay, so it may not be the way that everyone does it, and that's okay. You need to be obedient to what God called you to. Walk in your shoes. Walk in your shoes and be faithful and, and uh, faithful to God and bring glory to him. Bring honor to him. Be faithful to what he's called you to. And don't let anybody downplay your small beginning. Don't let anybody downplay a thing about anything. I know the devil is a lie. I know the devil is a lie. Don't let nobody downplay nothing. Because what you do, you do as unto God. And he's the one that gets the glory. And he's the one that gets the increase. And he's the one that, you know, once you show his light in this dark world, that he gets the praise. All the praises go to him. These people that are puffed up within themselves, within their numbers, within this and that and the other, that crap don't mean nothing. You think that means something to God? <laughs> uh, you think that means something to him? He's looking for somebody that is really all about him, that has a private, personal relationship with him, that he can tell you what to do and you move at what he tells you to do. So the enemy can be mad. Let him be mad. Let him be mad. We're going to keep doing what God told us to do, right? We're going to keep going in that. So y'all guys remain blessed. This was that message for the moment. <laughs> I am so, I mean, mm, 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 mm. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And thank you for the few new followers that I got. Oh my gosh. Thank God. I got a few new followers. I feel very excited about that guys. Um, feel free to share this word. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this page. And I will catch you guys on the next message. Be blessed now. Bye.